Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm Alex Fresco and in this video we will satisfy a couple of requests. So uh, we will see how to create uh, a 45 degree uh, tool, so a V-bit, and also how to create uh, a fly cutter. Let's start immediately to use the navigator on top to change the environment, we are going to go in tools, create a new tool. First thing is going to be the name. I'm going to call it Vbit. It's going to be a milling cutter. I'm going to use the general, so we are going to start from scratch. First thing, usually I go here in the morphology tab where we can start assigning the tool holder, which one is. And this is really depends on what you have. I'm going to use the uh, HSK F63ER40. Uh, then the first body for my tool uh, will be a cylindric. Just so we are on the same page, uh, I actually have a picture so this is the tool let's say that I want to create let's say that uh, the shank is uh, half inch so to have a 12.7 millimeters and I don't know the diameter here is gonna be 50 and zero of course for uh, the tip so I'm gonna start uh, with the first body like I was saying I'm going to disable the cutting edge, so this first body is going to be a non-cutting edge. Then length, I don't know how much is going to stick out from uh, the holder, but of course you will have to measure it. And the diameter, 12.7. Right now, don't pay attention to the error that uh, is going to come here because uh, we, we didn't finish yet uh, to, to create our tool, so just go ahead. We are here, let's add a second body. In this case, I'm gonna use here, add. And the second body will be a, a conical. So we can at this point specify the upper diameter, 50. The lower diameter, so if it is a, a sharp tip, of course it's gonna be zero otherwise you know if there is a little bit of flat uh, you can uh, specify the diameter uh, of that as well uh, let's go back to zero then um, the length we will see in a second what it is but uh, for now let's keep it and let's go to the angle so if we want a, a 45 degree angle, we need to type in 90 because it's going to be basically uh, 45 on this side and 45 on the other. So this is going to be a 90 degree angle and uh, of course the length. So uh, from here up to the tip, that is, uh, yeah, you will have to measure it. I'm gonna use 30 in my case. Now, as you can see, I still have the default for the length of this tool and the diameter, which is completely wrong right now. So let's adapt. If you want to be able to use this tool properly, you must use uh, the larger diameter because 99% uh, of the time you will use a tool like this one uh, with the central correction so you don't really care about the diameter of the bit you know and this but uh, it is really important if you want to do the 3d carving so uh, we will use this function in order to adapt the diameter uh, from a peak directly on the drawing so I want this to be my working diameter and I want to be, so adapt the length from peak on drawing, same thing. Mm -hmm. And I want this one to be my length. That's it. Of course, now speeds, 
it depends uh, if the tool you bought is a two flute or a single flute that it, it, it really depends on what you have on your hands and usually talking about the rpm the maximum is uh, written directly on the tool so based on that then you can adapt minimum and eventually the standard let's say that is 10,000 the max and we can leave the minimum uh, well 1,000 is fine 8,000 or 9 I mean you can even use the same the maximum so it's, it's really up to you as long as we don't go over the maximum okay uh, once uh, everything is set up remember acceleration deceleration for a simple tool like that three and three is fine save and now we can start to see also a fly cutter I'm not gonna call it fly cut because probably I already have it in my library and so uh, I don't know surface so you know the tool that you use to surface your spoil ball again milling cutter general milling we're gonna start from scratch again morphology so you select your tool holder if you have the ER32 is this one otherwise you know we have seen uh, earlier the ER40 um, then we're gonna start again with the cylinder cutting edge no it is not because it's gonna be the shank then whatever it is the length of my shank that, that sticks out of the tool holder let's say 30 half inch so 12.7 or uh usually i think for uh, the, the shank for the fly cutters is a little bit bigger uh, is uh, probably three quarters so 19.05 and uh, we're gonna add the second body and in this case uh, of course uh, you can use uh, a cylinder if you want to you know uh, just have an idea about the fly cutter so let's say we want uh, I don't know the diameter is gonna be uh, length 20 and diameter usually is 100 millimeter couple of inches so this can give us an idea about uh, the, the tool which is gonna look like this one pretty much otherwise if you want to be a little bit fancier and you want to create also the conical shape up here um, we are gonna use uh, um, the conical we are gonna use it in the opposite way this time just to create the shape we want so we will have to specify after the upper diameter it has to match whatever is the shank so 1905 in our case then lower diameter is gonna be 100 millimeter length it can be 15 or or actually it doesn't let me do it because we need to change the angle first in order to uh, then uh, readjust the length so the angle will be something like 160 and at this point we can specify 15 or less for uh, the length once you have that this is uh, i would say that this is not a cutting edge so and then we can add the last body cylinder cutting edge yes length whatever it is and the diameter 100 then we will have to adapt uh, adapt uh, dia working diameter working length as usual so length you can do it like that 
and the diameter you can adapt it like that done once again uh, talking about the, the speed for this tool usually the rpm is written on the tool uh, acceleration and deceleration let's let's do four uh, maximum rpm uh, like i said it really depends from the tool you you have and uh, the feed rate i mean the advance for this tool uh, yeah it's always uh, better to calculate it uh, using uh, you know the the chip load eventually and uh, the amount of uh, flutes so the amount of uh, inserts that you have but usually uh, since we are removing uh, just uh, a hair basically on top of the spoil board uh, we can uh, pretty much go at 30 meters a minute 30 or 40 i mean it, it, it depends okay once we are ready we can save it and we are good to go I hope this was uh, helpful, please subscribe and thank you for watching.